Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning and happy Friday. We are going to dive right into this morning's show with a very special interview with Ted DiBiase, better known as the Million Dollar Man in professional wrestling. But he is in the spotlight now for a different reason. He has an upcoming film documentary on his life titled The Price of Fame. Ted DiBiase joins us live via satellite. Hello, Ted. Nice to meet you for the first time. And it's interesting that we would meet with you getting ready to tell this side of your story. Well, I'm very, very happy that you guys had me on, and uh, it's a story that you know I've actually told for, for several years. And uh, finally, a friend of mine came along who wanted to put it on film and uh, and do a documentary. And, and uh, never, I never realized that it would come to where it is. But now it's a fathom event. It's going to be seen all over the United States on Tuesday, November the seventh, in select theaters. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be able to share my story. Well, we'll have a lot uh, of and people. And the story oh, is. Go ahead, Ted. Yeah, it's a story of hope. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a story of, of, of forgiveness and redemption. Ted, we've got a lot of fans of pro wrestling here, starting with the late Ilio DiPaolo from years ago, and we've had a lot of wrestlers come to town. You had it all, though, for so many years. What was the price of fame for you? Well, the price of fame can become, uh, you know, your, it's the, the time away from your family. Uh, people look at fame and they they think that's that's great. I mean, all these people know who you are, and you you walk into a coliseum and there's twenty thousand people screaming your name. But what they don't see is when you leave that arena and you go to a hotel and uh, you're, you're staring at four walls and a TV, and then you do that the next night and the next night, and you do that three hundred nights a year, and and that can be the price of fame, the toll it takes on your family. Uh, you know that that hotel room becomes a lonely place and you go down to the bar and have a beer and, and that's how it all starts. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, the, the whole story is about more than that. I mean, it's about hope, a hope number which you can come from nothing. I came from a, a very small town, Wilcox, Arizona, three traffic lights. I got a college scholarship to play football. I went on to become a star in the WWF, but I allowed the, the culture around me and that, that fast pace to draw me in and draw me away. And as a result, I, you know, I, drugs and alcohol and other women. And then I call home one day and my wife confronts me with adultery. And in the fraction of a second, I realized that I have placed the most important things in my life, the love and commitment of a devoted wife, as well as the stability, peace of mind and well-being of my children, all for stroking my ego because I've become so big headed. Uh, it was the worst day of my life. But it was at the same time the best day of my life because it was a turning point where I went back to the values that I was raised on and, and the faith that I was raised on and uh, can tell you with all honesty today uh, that my wife and I are closer than we've ever been. She's my absolutely my best friend. Uh, people say, well, Ted, are you really a multimillionaire? I go, no, I'm not. I said, but I'll tell you what I have. I have the love and respect of my wife. I have the... Uh, love and respect of my children and have the privilege and the honor of watching my grandchildren grow up. And you can't put a price on that. Uh, those things are priceless. And I think anybody can take take that away. I'll from tell this you, film. I'll tell you, Ted, a, a lot of people cross that line, but you fought back so hard um, to be the man that you are today. And I think a lot of people are going to be interested in your story. This documentary, the story of Ted, million dollar man DiBiase is going to be in participating theaters, like you say, and for people who would like to know where it might be locally, please visit fathomevents.com. Thank you so much, Ted, for sharing your story, and good luck.